Hello everybody. Finished day two. Getting these tests and whatnot done. So we don't have to do them done by Thursday morning, but it's like why wait? Because this thing's knocked out to get the ball rolling. So I get my truck and then of course my dad's having a wedding. So I go to that. So I'm gonna be ready to run. Run for three days at a time, or maybe more. The more longer I'm out, the longer I'm home. You know, I like those consistent days. You know, just, just getting the weekends off. I mean, kind of stressful. You know, trying to hopefully get back by Friday, end up Saturday morning, get my kids Saturday morning. That's already been dropped off at my dad's place, or my, now that my aunt's place, and uncle lives there now, and my dad's living someplace else, because he got himself <coughs> <coughs> getting married, which is good. I mean, he, I never seen him this happen his whole life. I mean, I love my mom, but she was bipolar. At first, we, we just thought she was just mean, but it was being bipolar. Man, it was, I uh, Interesting childhood, <laughs> but she couldn't help it. I mean, it is what it is. Dad's real happy, and um, looking forward to getting my night truck united. Get some long miles, but definitely, definitely, they're definitely on the game over here. Some of the things. I was allowed to do and whatnot with um, Heartland. Mm -mm, I ain't gonna do that. Yeah. But all their policies are written down. It's not policy is not written down. It's all written down. So that's that's good. Second day orientation. Go through videos. Just learn about the company and policies and procedures and what's expected uh, if, you know if you're um, dry van or you're gonna be refrigerated you know. be real particular about you know it's they put more on the driver of course you get paid more they expect more that's good I mean it's a totally different world than um in the natural gas and oil field like the last video they put a mirror underneath your mouth Okay, yep, you're hired. Got your license? Got your medical card? All right, you're good. Put you with the trainer in a week or so, and then you're off on your own. On the production water, or, um, I don't know if all the Oklahoma companies actually train. Just the Arkansas ones was big on the training thing. In Texas, each different North Dakota. Yeah, it's definitely a different world. Because those roads are not all maps. Lease roads. It's a road just made for the um, the drilling location. Yeah. And some companies, you know, they got a map of GPS coordinates where the stuff is. Other ones are just directions. It's it's definitely when we're first starting out, then that stuff is definitely kind of hairy. In Arkansas, shoot every day you can get fired for some, some minor, some minor like, you know, you spill, or they back into something. But in Oklahoma is like, oh well. <laughs> but so I'm used to, you know, but being very particular on certain things. So and they got no U-turn policy. The guy, what they call it, no, a, not lame duck, sitting duck. In other words, no stopping on the side of the road or on um, off ramps. They want you to add truck stop or not because, well, those places you can get hijacked. So. And that's no problem. If I know I'm not allowed to do it, and it's clear, clear, it's written down. No problem. I'll do it. I and mean, I won't do it. <laughs> I'll comply fully. Uh, 
Yeah. I ain't got my I ain't got my road test yet, but that's there's no nothing but a thing, you know. I just don't hit nothing, don't run don't don't break no laws. The fleet they got some people say it's half the fleet's automatic, but it's fine. I don't care. Hey. I had driven an automatic truck, but hey, I learned I might like it. It is benefits like going through cities and whatnot. Be some benefits. And not just shifting all the time. Up shift, down shift, up shift, down shift, up shift, down shift, up shift, down shift. That's just in Atlanta. At two in the morning. There's always traffic in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. But um I mean it wasn't really much happening. Um, one one person uh, that was refrigerated after lunch he got sent home something dealing with his last company because I guess he got fired or something I don't know we just don't know we all of a sudden he's gone you know so the physical was a daunting daunting part that physical no joke You know, make sure you're in good shape. Because you might have to unload some trailers. But they'll pay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Get those miles in. I mean, talk to Mr. Sinister. I'm, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to some long runs. Some long. Because I can, I can do two fingers. Man, hey Ike, how's it? Yeah, looking forward, just looking forward. And then look for training. Hopefully, let me go out thirty days solo, so I can get a good hand on the difference from dry van and refrigerated. Yeah. That I'm doing it correctly before train somebody else. I find out that I think Thursday or Friday. I should have done the, all the orientation stuff tomorrow. So, and they're supposed to give me a road test tomorrow. If not, they can do it Thursday. You know, I talked to the safety lady because she told me we're all supposed to report to her every day. Make sure there's nothing we need to get her or anything. And I told her about it. I even told her about it this morning. Because she asked. And she ain't really worried about it. Said, he'll, get, he'll get done. I'm like, okay. Just do what I'm told. <laughs> but looking forward. Looking forward. A lot of things, too. Been to have money saved up. And that's, I think that's the most wiser way of getting my own truck is just putting money away. And you know, my car is paid for. I got basic liability insurance. Oh yeah, they, with their um, drink their alcohol policy. You're not supposed to be drinking if you're in possession of a company vehicle. That means it's at your house. That's, they consider that in your possession. Yeah. I'm not too sure. I, yeah, it's still considered if it's at a truck stop and you're at your house, you're still in possession of it. You're still responsible for it. So I'm like, which, that's no problem for me. My home time trucks will be at the terminal because that's what they kind of, they actually want that for security. And because they know if you're getting close on service time, whatnot, you know, just hand your keys over, service, whatnot, and that stuff get taken care of while you're gone. So when you come back, you'll be good to go. But, um, yeah, that's about it. I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm milking it, just going blah, 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 blah,
Wah, 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 wah. So I need to finish up my test, my homework, get the things done. Open book, no problem. Not a problem, big boy. Y'all have a good day.